Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Secret Base figure preview video. Now before we begin, as always, I have to say a huge thank you to Ryan Kirkwood, but this time it's an extra special one because Ryan, he went out in person and took these high res pics with a sprained wrist, so please show Ryan some love in the comments below without him this series literally wouldn't be possible. If you are looking to pre-order the 2.0 or reissue of the 89 Batmobile, it is available with ToysWonderland.com. I have popped the link in the description below, and they do have 12-month installment plans and a reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button, so you're notified as soon as a brand new review goes live on the channel. Now, we're not going to spend a ton of time in this preview video, because... It's the same car as before. I'm pretty sure they literally went out the back. They dusted off one of the old display units, popped it here in front of Batman and said, There you go, it's a new one. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it isn't a new one. This is an old one. Now, normally, when we have a newer version of something that was released ages ago, you can say, Oh, great, another opportunity to get this and improved paint applications. But with this car... <laughs> There are no paint applications. I mean, there are a few, but not really enough to make this one a huge upgrade over the original, because pretty much the entire thing is cast in satin black plastic. Now, you do get the same array of accessories as before. The shin breakers that plug into the side. These are neat accessories. They were seen more so in Batman Returns, I think, but... They were seen on this car, so I'm really glad we have them. We also get the bat discs. Now in the film, they would shoot out of the car, but in 1.6 scale, they don't. They're for display, not for play. You also get the grappling hooks, because when this car tried to turn because of its super long snoot, it would struggle to do right angles, so he had to fire the grapnel line and it would make him turn a little bit tighter. You can still open up the cockpit and there's the strut down the middle, which Normally, I think, comes packaged separately so it doesn't snap in transit. The windows are translucent and black, and they're pretty scratched up on display, which is another reason why I think this car is one of the originals. Now, trying to fit Batman inside the car is never easy, especially with a rubber suit. I would have loved to have seen a faux Batman torso pre-posed with still interchangeable mouth plates and head sculpts, so you could pop him in the car and leave him there permanently. They even could have charged you a little bit more, and we all know they love charging you more where they can. Now, for paint applications, there's some here. We've got some heat treatment on the side of the vehicle and also some shading in the rims, but other than that, it's pretty much just unpainted black plastic, and this one on display is dusty as hell. It still has LEDs around the back for the tail lights, around the front for the Honda Accord headlights in yellow, which is something that Tim Burton absolutely insisted on because he wanted that old-timey kind of noir feel, and in 1.6 scale, they've captured that quite well. The tires, rolling, and they're also made of rubber. Now, interestingly enough, at the time of filming this video, this is the second 1989 Batman currently on pre-order in 1.6 scale. The first of which is the Jazz Inc. version, which by all accounts is the more accurate of the two. It is pricier, but if you're going for accuracy, you really can't beat that one, and it's officially licensed as well. Not to take anything away from the Hot Toys one, because I own the original and I really like it. Will I be getting this one? Oh, heck yes I will, and I plan to do a comparison between the original and this new and improved one. You also still have the machine guns, you pop off the panels, the machine guns pop up, and they're pretty well detailed. I mean, they got bullet belts, a moving slide, and an opening top panel, plus they move around just a little. And considering these things will probably be stored inside the car 89% of the time for 89% of the people who own this, see what I did there? 89%, 89 Batman, I am so sorry, they really didn't need to go all out on the guns, but they absolutely did. So where does this put this car in terms of a skip or an absolute must-have? Well, that depends on you. If you have the space and you love this vehicle like I do and you've always wanted one, go ahead and grab this. You will absolutely love this in 1.6 scale. But if you don't have the space and you're thinking, ooh, do I sacrifice a whole display of characters just for the car? I would sit down and have a hard think, because for me, I've always struggled with that. I love vehicles, but 
For the same space that one car takes up, you could have so many main characters, so that's a battle for you to fight in your own time, and please, weigh in down below in the comment section. Also, I will be doing a updated retro review on the original Batmobile, the MMS-170 version, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. If you do, however, want to skip the original and grab the new one, the link for that is in the description below with ToysWonderland.com. They have installment plans and a reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.